Welcome in baseball fans and here in New York interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Miami Marlins going up against the New York Yankees with my partner Chris Singleton I'm John Chomby and Chris a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year Luis Arias leads the team at OPS so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Garrett Cole. And Siggy, he's a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been oh. pretty great for most of his big one league ball, career. No Can't wait to watch him in this one. And the pitch. That Good. one finds the zone. And a count one and one. One and one. Swing yeah. and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two for count. That pitch uh, uh, just ball. misses the inside corner. Two and two. And two. two. Kicks and deals. Swag and miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's going to be Brian De La Cruz. And no, the pitch low. a little bit oh. low. Ball one. Cole in his 11th season more than 100 career wins on the mound and of course has a Cy Young to his credit got the back going too soon at strike two really a center ball fastball strike. right there and just ended up out in front of the slider hey you can't fault him for his commitment now he's just gonna have to battle two strikes makes the grab for the second out Luis Arise stands in and a strike. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. That one out to right. Soto gets under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Here with my pal Siggy and pitching in this game, Yuri Perez. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes go. out of the hand because he's able to no throw a high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike. Hitters commit to that pitch, and before they know it, they're swinging over the top no of that curveball. One strike. The other way, and foul ball. Yeah, that's oh, a little that's bit high. high. One and two to count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next two offering three. down in the dirt. Three. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that oh. he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And that's, that's outside. And it's 2-0. Two and oh. two balls, when you no get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Yeah. Clips the corner. Now two balls and a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Fouls one off. Two and two. One out. Base is empty. Right. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Currently owns a seven-game hitting. Judge rips that one. And in one hops the wall. 
Around first, digging for two. To second, pulls him off the bag. And if you're the pitcher, you can't be frustrated. You know this is going to be the toughest batter that you face tonight, and you're going to have to face him a couple of times. So you just tip your cap and hope that you can get the next guy out. Here's Glaber Torres. First ball. pitch misses. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending yeah. this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four ball. One, one. Runner at second, two down. Here in game one of this three-game set. Bounce to the left side. Makes the sliding stop. Gathers and throws. And that's a great play for the out. New inning getting started. And at the plate for Miami, Jake Berger. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Josh Bell in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Ground ball right side. Finds its way through base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Second inning here, no score. There's the strike. Got him. And that is a big first out. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Ground ball could be two. Good feed. That's one. Double play. What a clean killing, Dan. The Bottom of the second, and here is Giancarlo Stanton. Perez back to work. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The 0 1. And he swings through that one. Well, you got the hitter okay. already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit, right side. Bell steps on the bag. One up, one down. Here's Jose Trevino. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. And a foul ball. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. On the ground to the left. And oh. that's just foul. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even oh. though he's behind in the count. Two balls, two strikes. The line to kick the pitch. That one Got not close. And the count is filled up. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Bounce to third. Berger. She made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And there's a ball. Swings through that. One ball, one strike. Two outs. That one fouled off. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. That one almost got him. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs, base is empty.
Chases the changeup in the dirt. Casale over to first. You know, got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Back here in New York, Abasail Garcia up to the plate. And Garcia gets a piece. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Volpe whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Kirk Casale. Right through there for a strike. Well, we're expecting to see strikeouts oh in this one. Cole is in the 2,000 strikeout club and only needed around 1,700 innings to get there. You know, only Chris Sale and Pedro Martinez needed fewer innings to reach 2,000 strikeouts. Back to the top of the Miami order. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Now. That's in there. That's strike one. That's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And that no, one that missing hit, low. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd, they're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. And next is the designated hitter, Brian De La Cruz. On the corner for a strike, and it's 0-1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, he's good. Got him looking. And that is that. So no run. As we go to the last of the third, here's the third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Swing and a miss. Strike one. 0 oh and 1. And 1 and 1 to LeMayhew. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. 1 and 2. The count. In the two dirt, two. now two and two. And oh, another count. ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Got him. One gone here. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Anthony ah. Volpe now at the plate as he swings through strike oh, one. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Wow, no fair right no there. Ball. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. And there's a hit. So now back to the top of the order. He showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. He didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the first offering. Right. Runner goes. Pitch in for a strike hey. for the second. See? You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position? Man, it's second. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. At the belt and fires. One and, two. and that's downstairs and outside.
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. swing and miss go, go, go. And you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel it bears in on you pretty hard that one to first Bell he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it as we go to the top of the fourth and now for the Marlins Luis Arias up the middle Volpe gathers up. and throws to first and a quick out number one up next by the Marlins. Here's a big power threat. Jake Berger. Berger. Fastball yeah. in for a strike. Going on. Berger measures six feet two inches. 27 years old. He's knocked in nine over his last ten games. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Ball, ball. on there. One, two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, and create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Josh Bell at the plate now. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Strike yeah. two. No ball, two strike. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two outs. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. LeMayhew oh. gets it to first, and it's a one two. Bottom four. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. The pitch. To the right side. Arrives. Sends it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Here's Glaber Torres. Grounded out his first time up. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Your ball is looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Almost got him. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy oh. in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And he deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. A wind in the pitch. Bobber to right field, way back, and gone! Third home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. How in the world did he manage to hit that one out? It wasn't even in the strike zone. Pitcher always wants to miss down if he's going to miss with the breaking ball. Pretty good pitch, but just a really good swing on it. He stayed down, he got through it, and he got rewarded. And next for New York, Jose Trevino. Swing right. and a miss, strike one. It's 0 and 1.
That misses one the one. zone. One and one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. High bounce takes it over the Too fence. Big. That's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can no, jog missed. home That's as well. Rizzo in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Man on second, two down. That's a ball. Hey, that clips the corner. Two outs and one in scored position. Stays alive. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Yankees draw first blood on a solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back for more from the Bronx. Top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, oh. Jesus Sanchez. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And that one wrapped foul. One down, base is empty. And the nope. slider oh. just misses. One one. And that is come on and miss. And the count one and two. One and two. Left hand batter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. <laughs> Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Avasayu Garcia, the next up for the Marlins. And Garcia gets a piece. Two down, nobody on. Right, right through there for a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And looking for the K. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. And a foul ball. The 01. Late with the swing there. Movement in the bullpen. Oh, Trevor oh, Rogers. Up and loosening in the pen. Sanchez. A right hander. Hey. Loosening up as well. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Swing and a pop up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Righty to the plate. Right Late on that fastball. He's really trying to oh, stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Casali collects, fires to first. In there safely. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Perez picks the first. Oh, they got him leaning. He's out. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Nobody on. Last half of inning number five. And oh. another ball. Oh. 
swings through that one out in front that time. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Way outside. Three and two now. Two outs. And they'll do it again. see another payoff pitch eighth pitch of the at back coming up swing and a ball hit out towards left center field Gord makes the catch back at Yankee Stadium and here is Kirk Casale sneaks through base hit off to a good start with a leadoff now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been hit. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Soto gets it back in quickly. And it's now first and second to start the inning. So now here's the D.H. Brian De La Cruz. That's First ball, pitch doesn't ball. find the zone. Swings through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike. The Yanks leading by a run. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And that is a big first out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job that right is, there. That's the ball. Next one just misses. Yeah, that's ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Casale on second. Chisholm at first. One gone. This one lifted in the air. Left field. Verdugo pulls it in on the run. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making Good. up for it in his next at bat. Berger in the box now. Takes strike one. Next offering upstairs. Really good two-strike catch right there. Surprised he was able to spit on that thing. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The Marlins trailing by a run here in game one of this three-game set. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Trevor Rogers. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And the 1-0. Way high. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game, and you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth that one is absolutely belted that's back there Just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So one out, nobody on. Here is Glaber Torres. 
popped up. And Glaber Torres retired. Two away down. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Right yeah. through there for a strike. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. And that one lifted in the air center field. Chisholm in position. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two zip. You're dialed into the show. Back in the Bronx, all set for the start of the inning. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. A big swing and a miss. Oh, and well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little what bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Struck him out looking. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. We'll take a look at the sequence on that three-pitch strikeout. Led it off with a couple of fastballs up in the zone, kind of challenging him to catch That's up. Ball. And that really opened up the bottom part of the strike zone because as a hitter, you're still thinking he might climb the ladder on you even more. Pretty much didn't stand a chance on that good changeup. On the ground, right side. A dive, he's got it. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nice. Back in New York, bottom of the seventh. And yeah, the batter now, Jose Trevino. Rodgers, a former All-Star, 26 oh, years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Wouldn't no, chase that time. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Oscar Brazoban, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Rip towards third. Fires across the diamond. And the leadoff hitter sat down to open the seventh. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. No ball, one strike. That one, one way one. outside, and it's a ball to strike. Right through there for a strike. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Great on that fastball. In the on-deck oh, circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hitable fastball early in the count. 0-2. Oh two. two down, nobody on. In the air to left center. Corrals it, and that will end the inning. We go to the eighth, and now the right fielder, Abisayil Garcia. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock on to the pitcher's delivery is hey. causing a few awkward swings. 0-2. Oh Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Man, this has been impressive. Just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning. He's given them a lot of length, and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go. Rizzo hey. takes it to the bag. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Strike two. The guy's going this good. He's returned seven in a row. He's going to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. 
two out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Chisholm in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next oh, offering down. is down low. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nothing to do with Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryan Weathers. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out from right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. One away. Woo, he was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Verdugo in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Oscar Brazobon getting loose out there. Swung out, popped up left side. And it falls. Here's Juan Soto. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Aaron Judge at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Aaron Judge. And first offering is fouled off. And a foul ball. Verdugo at second with two down. Off the ball. mark there. And the count is one and two. One, two. And two another and two. ball. Rips one to right. Automatic oh, double now is it out to the wall in foul ground. A run comes in in the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Here comes Glaber Torres. Just oh, missed. And it goes oh, just foul. Just a matter of inches from picking up an RBI base hit and maybe a double in the process. That was barely foul. Yankees up by three. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher oh, would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Man at second. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered here in this one. Fought off foul. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. That's a base hit as a run scores. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what 
what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Oscar Brazobon gets handed the rock out of the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. That's the ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Strike. Righty delivers. And Two another more. ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sanchez sizes this one up, nabs it. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees four and the Marlins nothing. Back in the Bronx. Now the number two hitter, Brian De La Cruz. Yeah. And that one is in for a strike. Pretty rare location no right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure right. if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. No ball, two strike. Deal two. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. He's two outs away. And up next for Miami, Luis Arias. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Out there to center. Grabs it on the run. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, yeah. especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Oh, Berger stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Cole is just one strike away. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The line of the pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.